Back on Gallipoli, August 1915 proved to be a deadly month for Jacker's 14th Battalion. The three attacks in the vicinity of Hill 60 on the 8th, 21st and 27th of August had been a sheer massacre for the battalion. Many of Jacker's friends were killed, his D Company being decimated in the first attack. The 20th of August attack on Hill 60 proved most costly. Lieutenant Crabbe was killed and the battalion suffered its greatest loss on the 22nd with the death of Chaplain Gillison. To add to the horrors, fires broke out in the scrub and burnt to death many of the battalion wounded. This was the end of the original battalion. The strength of the battalion before the Hill 60 battles was 24 officers and 838 men. After the battle, on September the 3rd, 1915, the members numbered only nine officers and 149 other ranks. This was to be the lowest strength throughout the battalion's history. Jacker had survived the battles. Fortunately for him, he was absent for the charge on the 27th of August as he was unfit for duty due to gastric. The poor planning of the August battles embittered Jacker's respect for some senior officers. However, following the disaster, Jacker received significant promotions. On the 28th of August, he was promoted to corporal. Within a month, he was promoted to sergeant. And on the 4th of November, he was promoted to company sergeant major. Jacker had become a celebrity within the battalion. A new recruit to the 14th on Gallipoli, Edgar Rule, wrote of his experiences. Those of us allotted to D Company felt a thrill of self-esteem. Sergeant Major was no less than Jacker VC. Have you seen him yet? was on all lips. The man who could point out Jacker seemed to swell with importance. To me, Jacker looked the part. He had a medium-sized body, a natty figure, and a determined face with a crooked nose. At that time, one characteristic above all endeared him to all underdogs. Instead of criming men and bringing them before the officers, his method was, I won't crime you, I'll give you a punch on the bloody nose. After the Hill 60 battles, Jacker and the 14th Battalion, what was left of it, enjoyed six weeks leave on Limnos Island. Many of the surviving members were still fighting for their lives in hospital. The battalion returned to Gallipoli on the 31st of October 1915. Around this time, rumours of evacuation began to circulate. The 14th men found it hard to comprehend leaving the position, which was hard won by the supreme sacrifice of so many of their friends. However, rumours were right, and Jacker with the 14th left Glipley for the last time at 11pm on the 18th of December 1915. Lance Corporal Rule remembered in his diary the hushed reverence as the men filed past the grave of Chaplain Gillison. There was a general feeling of letting down one's mate. Gallipoli was a tragic war for Jacker's 14th Battalion, with approximately 400 members being killed. Making a page in history's fame, upholding Australia's glorious name, of one accord, one heart, one aim, withdrawn. T'was hard to leave ground so possessed, more so the graves where comrades rest. But after all, t'was for the best, withdrawn, withdrawn. Poem Withdrawn, written by Corporal Charles Smith, 3rd Reinforcements, Number 5 Platoon, B Company, 14th Battalion.